Hello and welcome to Sunnyside Crochet. Today we will be working on a hat with a messy bun option. Now this hat is a little special with the fake cabling that gives us this braided effect. Believe it or not, I only used a single crochet, a chain stitch, a slip stitch, and a single crochet two together to create this beautiful hat. This is a great example of how basic stitches can come together to create amazing effects. So let's get started. For this hat, I used, I love this yarn in black and royalty. I just love the sparkly effect of the royalty yarn. I saw it and I just knew I had a special place for it in this project. I'm also using a size K hook. Those of you who have seen my videos before know that I tend to pull a little tight and I use a bigger hook. You may get the desired effect with a smaller hook. So to get started with this hat, um, we're actually going to start with the brim down here at the bottom in the black. Um, I work my hats backwards. I just find that it gives me a little more control over how big the hat ends up. So we will start at the bottom and work our way up. So what we're going to do is we'll chain 11. Okay, and we will come back in the back loops of this chain. So you will have 10 stitches. That was one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, and there is 10. And I like working in the back loops of my foundation chain anyway. I just think it gives me a, a cleaner edge for my work. But when we finish the brim of the hat, we're going to be joining it together. And it's just easier if you have the even top of the stitch right here to work in versus the bottom of the foundation chain. Okay, so row two, we're going to chain one and turn. And this is where we start actually making our rib stitch to work this hat. We're just going to work in the far back loop only and just do a single crochet. And that'll give us a little bit of texture. And it's also very stretchy. So like my head is 21 to 22 inches around, depending on the kind of hair day I'm having. And I did 55 rows of the rib stitch and joined in row 56 to make that hat. Um, and that worked pretty well for me. So we are going to just keep going like this in the back loop only to get this really cool braided of, or ribbed effect. And as you can see, it's already starting to come out. So we'll chain one, turn, and just keep going with that rib stitch. And we will be back to join the brim of our hat together. All right, so now that we have our 55 rows of our rib stitch, we have to put it together to finish the brim of our hat. Now, I'm joining this in row 56 because the finished hat has seven um, cabling parts with eight stitches in between, which works out to 56 stitches. Now my head is 21 to 22 inches around, depending on the kind of hair day I'm having. So 56 rows just worked out for me. Now, if you want to make yours a little smaller, 
you might want to go for either 48 or 49 rows um, just to keep, have a multiple family in mind just to make the cabling work and be even for the rest of your hat. So like 48 would be either eight uh, cabling loops with six stitches in between or six cabling loops with eight stitches in between. Uh, 49 would be seven and seven. Um, but it would actually join backwards from how I'm going to do it right now. So if you're going with the 48, you would do 47 rows and you would be joining in row 48 right now. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to work in the outside loops of each of our stitches here. So I'm actually joining with the last row into the foundation chain. So all I'm going to do for the first stitch is just put my hook through the outside loop of the first one and just pull through my loop from the last row. And then we're going to move on to the next stitch, put our hook through both outside loops and just yarn over and pull all the way through. And the next one, yarn over, pull through, outside loops, yarn over, pull through, outside loops, yarn over, pull through, outside loops, pull through. Last one, pull through. Okay, so we just got both ends together. What we're going to do to start the next row is chain one, and then just single crochet in each row going around. And you'll notice this one only has one strand in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow a string from down here just to double it up to give it a, a little more security there so it doesn't pull. Okay, and we're just gonna single crochet all the way around. And the reason that we're doing this first row in the black is so it doesn't show. Because if we were to start this in the blue, the stitches, you'll notice this one comes down a little more than that one. And it, it just looks uneven if you start the new color and the first row. So we're just going to continue going around in the black. All right. Finishing up this row, we're just going to slip stitch in that first chain. Tie it off. And there we are. We have the brim of our hat done. So now I'm going to join in our blue. And you can use any color you like. I've done this same hat in a red with black flecks in it. Um, you could do it in basically any color you want. It has a nice texture to it. Any color would look good. As long as it's a worsted weight yarn. So all we're going to do to join in our blue is we're going to start with a single crochet. And we're going to single crochet eight because I'm working with a row of 56. There's three. Four, 
chain eight get our cable defect two three four five six seven eight and we're just gonna single crochet in the next eight stitches two three four seven eight and we're chain eight again Six, seven eight and we're just going to continue working around just like that okay and this is our last one we're just going to chain eight again Six, seven eight we're going to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. Chain one to start the next row. And this next row is just going to be a single crochet in every single crochet from the last row. And we're actually going to close in our loops a little bit by doing that. So here's number eight. And we're just going to keep single crocheting in the next single crochet from the last row. So there's one, and we're just going to keep the little loops to the outside so we can braid them all together later. And just this first and second row are going to make up the first 12 rows of your hat and that will that is actually where you control how tall your hat's going to be if you want it a little taller to make like a slouchy hat you can do that if you like it a little shorter because um, you don't like it totally covering your ears you can do that as well But the first 12 rows are just alternating rows one and two. All right, and to finish up row two, just gonna single crochet in these last couple stitches here. And we are just going to slip stitch right across in that first stitch and chain one and we are ready for row three. And we'll just keep going like that and I will be back in row 13 as we start to make the top smaller to come in to be a hat. Okay, we're getting done with row 12. I just wanted to show you real quick how I was doing these slip stitches to then start the next row. I pull them tight so that I don't accidentally use them as a stitch as I'm going around. So I'm going to do my last single crochet for row 12. Four, five, seven. And then I pulled that one tight. There's my chain. I'm just going to slip stitch right in there. Pull it. And chain to start the next row. Okay. Row 13, like I said, we're going to start bringing this in together. So what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet three, do two together, and then single crochet three, and then chain eight to keep going with our little braided pattern here okay so the chain is one we're going to two and three 
And because it's a hat and we don't want any gaps, we're going to just two together in the front loop only so it doesn't show as much. And then one, two, three, and then chain eight again. Single crochet, one, two, three, two together, and then one, two, three, chain eight. Okay, we're finishing up this row, and in this next row, we're actually going to be reducing by two in behind these chain stitches. So, to finish up the row, we're going to crochet two together. We're going to modify it just a little bit. So, we're going to go on the front loop of the first one, and because we're always joining with a slip stitch, that's all we're going to do here. We're just going to pull the loop through and we're going to pull it through the rest of it. And chain one to start the row. So we're going to single crochet seven and then single crochet two together behind the chains. So the chain is one, there's two, three, four, five, six, Seven, all right, so on that seventh one, we'll crochet two together. So there's that, and one. So it's actually single crochet five, sorry. There we are. So single crochet five, so one, two, three, four, five, there, and one there. Now, if you are going for the messy bun hat. This is the row that you would tuck all your chains in. So all you would do is you would braid it and all you're doing is you're taking the loop above and you're just putting through the loop below and just working your way up. Just like that. Okay. So you would actually start here crocheting them in. So this row I'm do my slip stitch, chain one. We would single crochet two, so the chain counts as one, so there's one, two, and then single crochet two together. And then we would single crochet two more. And if you were going for the messy bun hat, you would actually tuck your chain in there. You would single crochet one, and then you would put your hook through the loop put your hook through the next stitch and just single crochet all together. Okay, and you would just keep going around like that. And then this row and the next row would be the same for you, only I'm making more chains to go on for the hat part. 
So, that is all you would do, and then the next row would be the same in reducing stitches. Because you would tuck these in and then have another row on top of that just to finish it. Okay. So those of us that are going to keep going with the hat, you'd come back to the beginning of the row. Do your eight. Slip stitch. Chain one. Single. If I could get it. Single crochet one. And then two together. And then single crochet two, chain eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, two together. One, and then we are back to the beginning of our row. So what we're going to do to end this, we're going to do our combination single crochet together again like that. Chain one to start the row. And then it's one, two, three. And those of you doing the messy bun hat, this is your last row, and it would be done just like this, only without the loops in there. So you would single crochet two together. Behind loops there. And then single crochet three. One two, three, single crochet two together, so one, two, and we're back at the beginning again. stitch, chain one. And then there is your hole for the messy bun. If you don't like how big it is, you can always add another row to make it a little bit smaller. Okay. So, okay, now as we finish this row, you will notice we did end up with an extra stitch here just because of joining and starting rows behind this chain here. So we're just going to finish up that single crochet three with a single crochet two together to fix that. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and then this following row we're doing chains again, so we will end with that. So we will slip stitch in there, 
bullet. Chain one. And all we're doing is we are going to single crochet two, single crochet two together, single crochet two, but in between the single crochet two, we're going to do more of our chains. So we will single crochet two, two, and two together, do one, and then our chain, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, and then single crochet again, do two together, one, two, single crochet, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Single crochet again. And then two together. Single crochet. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, single crochet, two together, single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Single crochet, single crochet, and then to start our next row, it's just a single crochet one and single crochet two together. So here we go. Two together. One. And two together. Slip stitch, chain one. Okay, and this is where if you're doing the hat, you would want to braid all your chains together and you're just taking the one above and just putting it through the middle of the one below it and working your way up. have those all braided we're just going to single crochet two together all the way around so we're going to insert our hook through our loop there two pull them through finish our single crochet all right next loop our loop here and through, pull it through. Next one. Hook through the loop. One, two, 
bring them through, pull it through. Loop, loop. That one, next one, through, pull it through. Next one. One, two, through the loop, pull them through. Pull them through. Slip stitch. First one. And there we are. And even more closed half opening there. And we're just going to single crochet two together again around. And then I usually secure it with a slip stitch through just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. going to tie it off and tuck that knot in the hat and our hat is done. So I will be back in a minute and we will do the pom-pom to put on top. Okay, now it is time for the pom-pom. All right, so... My skein of yarn here is still pretty new, so I'm actually working from the outside of it because if you pull from the inside, um, the yarn's kind of all, all scrunched up and, and just it, it doesn't give a good look to your pom-pom. So I'm actually working from the outside of the skein of yarn because the yarn's a little straighter, a little more flat, a lot easier to work with. You just get a better effect out of it. Okay. So we're going to pull some off here. Now, I know a lot of people like to use the pom-pom makers, and there is nothing wrong with that at all. However, um, if you do not have pom-pom makers, uh, you can very easily just use your hand. Um, it's not that bad. Okay, so all I'm going to do, since I'm working with one strand of yarn... I'm just going to wrap it around my hand 150 times. Now, if you're working with two strands of yarn and you want to get into, like, I don't know, the, the hat kind of reminds me of a, a night sky. So if you want to get into, like, a, a yellow and white to kind of do a, a moon or a star kind of thing, um, then I would only wrap it around 75 times. It would give you the same size. You would just wrap both of them together at the same time just like this you'd hold them together and you would just wrap them together going around and it's pretty neat it gives you a nice mixed look but I just want a black pom-pom so I will just take this single strand of black yarn and I will wrap it around my hand 150 times now if you want to make life a little easier when you're done, take a, a strand of yarn. It doesn't have to be really long, just long enough to get around your pom-pom and tie it really, really tight. 
um, you would want to insert that in this space between your middle and ring finger. I just pull it through so that when you are done, you already have a piece of yarn in there ready to tie off your pom-pom before you cut it. It just makes life a little bit easier when you're done. Okay, so I'm going to wrap my pom-pom, uh, this yarn, 150 times around my hand, and I will be back to show you how to get it off, tie it, and cut it. All right, and here we have our pom-pom all wrapped around my hand 150 times with my string that I had tucked in between my fingers. And while I was wrapping, I just tucked it up my sleeve so that it was out of my way. So all we're gonna do is we are going to tie this off and we're going to tie it very, very tight so that our pom-pom does not come undone. So we're gonna get it going a little bit there and we are going to very, very gently take our pom-pom off of our hand so that it does not come undone. Tie this off. Like I said, very, very tight. Okay, and there is our pom-pom tied up. All right, don't worry about it being uneven or anything. We're going to trim it and fix all of that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take our scissors and we are just going to cut. There. And then we're going to come around the other side and cut. Just like that. And now we will trim it, cut any other ones that we might have missed while we were going through there. And we will trim it so that it looks more like a ball. And we'll be back to tie it on. Okay, so now that we have our pom-pom made and trimmed down so it looks like a ball, we're going to take both ends of our tie string, which mine accidentally got cut, but it happens and it'll, it'll work, it's okay. So what we're going to do, I just had to make sure that I had the right end. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a smaller crochet hook and we're going to insert it through the middle of our hat, just around the middle, and just pull our tails through. Then we will turn the hat inside out There it is. And we are just going to tie a square knot to secure it. And trim off our ends. And there we have it. One pom pom on a hat. So I hope you enjoyed our project today. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook. And be sure to check out SunnysideCrochet.com for more great ideas. Have a great day and as always, happy hooking!